Hello everyone and welcome to Serpente Sunday for September 26, 2021. I am Lori with Behavior Education at Spirit Keeper Equine Sanctuary. I am joined this evening by Asgard, one of our Darwin Carpet Pythons, and we're going to introduce you to this episode, which is just all for fun. I was asked recently if I ever plan to do a facility tour or a reptile room tour or a meet the collection video. And the reason I don't do that, I have no problem showing everyone our facility and showing you each and every animal here, but I am not going to go enclosure to enclosure and take the animals out to make a video. I take the animals out if there's a need, if I have to medicate them or if there's some emergency. And other than that, the animals come out when they choose to come out. I'm not going to force them to come out and intrude into their space to make a video. So as they are awake and active and alert and they come out on their own, I will try to include each and every one in a video at least once, but some of them are just not as outgoing as others. Asgard here is usually pretty good. So this week's episode I said is gonna be fun. It was fun for me to make. I hope it's fun for you to watch. I am researched out lately and I'm kind of tired of teaching lately. I've done a lot of research and instruction lately and I needed a break. And so this episode is just gonna be some hellos from some of our animals that you are going to get to see. And it's gonna be some animal antics with some regular characters that you've seen lots of times like TC and Rodney. In fact, TC kind of manipulated the programming so much this week and inserted himself into it so much, I'm not even sure he deserves to have his own episode next Sunday for Serpente's Sunday, which would be the Sunday that we do the Super Dwarf Sunday because it's the first Sunday in October. So we'll see if we do a Super Dwarf Sunday next week or if we make TC share next Sunday with other snakes. But at any rate, please enjoy the episode and we will see you soon. Hi, Riley, and hello, Kate. I just wanted to show you Marcel. He's doing really well. He wanted to say hello. No, actually, he just wanted to come out of his enclosure and spend some time on this activity station. So that's what we're gonna let him do while we eat dinner. Hi, everyone. This Serpente Sunday is gonna be full of animal hellos, and we're gonna start with A for Anteresia. This is one of our two Anteresia children I. He's a children's python produced in 2019 by Riley Jemison. He was hatched on July 9th, 2019, and my friend Kate Mistral actually has two of his clutch mates. I know it's been a while since he's been in a video and Marcel just wanted to come out and say hello to everybody. And now it's Normal's turn to say hello. Normal is a two-year-old Pantherophis guttatus, more commonly known as a corn snake. He was hatched on July 5th, 2019 and produced by Joe Phelan at Port City Pet. Say hello to everyone, Normal. Normal is always up for coming out of his enclosure. And just like Marcel earlier, Normal was at his enclosure door and furiously pushing on it, wanting to come out. He's always been outgoing ever since he was a baby. He's been with us since he was just a few weeks old. So we've had him since 2019. And he's just a really great all around snake. TC's not gonna be saying hello, he's gonna be saying good night. TC got up about 10.30 on Friday morning and roamed around a little bit and sat in some of his favorite spots. And then around 1.30 Friday afternoon, he found where I store the training targets and the feeding tongs. And he has been here ever since. And it is now four in the morning on Saturday morning 
and he's been here about 14 hours, 14 and a half hours. So UTC needs to come up from there. and get to bed. Thank you. Sometimes you see TC thinks that he needs to eat more than I think he needs to eat. Let go of your tail with that. All right, you're going to bed. All right, TC, say good night. You need to rest all day today. You've been up since yesterday. I shouldn't even let you be in this video. You're in every video practically. Good night, TC. And now I'm gonna put Ronan up. Ronan's been up doing his usual thing. He wakes up every evening, early evening or right after dark, and he patrols the house. And then he finds a spot to sit and rest for the night. And it's time for him to go to bed, but this is his normal time that he goes to bed around this time every morning, around 4 a.m. So this is nothing new for him. This is our regular nightly, or morning routine, I should say. Good night, Ronan. You're a good boy. Some of the other snakes are active and awake. That's Shepherd. And some of them are in ambush position, hoping that a meal will come along, which it's not. I'm not doing any feeding tonight, or this morning, I should say. These Morelia Bredley are pretty much active all night long from dark until this time, about four or five in the morning. Yeah, they're still pretty active, a lot of them. I don't know what Saru's staring at. But it's lights out time, guys. We're all going to bed. Snakes are in bed. We're going to bed. I still got some snakes up in this room, too. This is Radic, our Angolan python. He's already been out today. He can't come out again right now, Radic. Our Darwin carpets seem to still be awake. They should be going to bed soon, as soon as I turn the lights out and they realize that everything's quiet and they're not gonna be coming out or training or getting fed. Some of them on this side look like they're already starting to settle. And there's ultraviolet already asleep. Here's our Central American boa, Nebula, that you don't see very often. He's still awake, it looks like. He has a really spectacular enclosure with lots to do, and he doesn't actually use very much of it. I've never once seen him in that sky hide or on these PVC perches. He sometimes does rest on this big fat log, and he uses his water tub a lot, his humid hide a lot, and then he sits on these rocks a lot. He just doesn't really go 
a pie. I've never seen them on the shelf. I've never seen them on the perches or in that sky hide. So maybe he'll use them someday. Sakozu's still up and awake and on her shelf. She's one of our pop one carpet pythons. All right, lights out in this room, everybody. It's Saturday, September 25th, 2021. It's about 1.45 p.m. in the afternoon in Colorado. Just picking up where we left DC last night. He wanted to back out since I got up this morning at around 10.30 a.m. And I guess I'm going to give in and let him out now. Because if I don't, he just tries to get out. good for a little while and just stay right there that would be a good boy just hang out there for a little bit you just ate seven days ago I don't think you need to eat again nope TC what are you doing Why would you be on that rope? Hmm? You're so silly. just a few minutes later. TC, what are you doing in the dog kennel? You need to find a spot to sit for the day because I have things to do and I can't just chase you around the house. Why are you even in there? And I just came in from the barn and now TC is over here. Hi everyone, this is Ezra. He's just a little baby royal python and he wanted to say hi. I'm not sure why he's awake and wanted out of his enclosure in the middle of the afternoon, but he did. And he's been having a really great time. He's been comfortable and relaxed, but now all of a sudden something's got him spooked and he's a little bit uncomfortable and I'm gonna put him away. But before I did that, I thought I would just have him say hi for this episode of Serpente Sunday. that we couldn't get through an episode of animal hellos and animal antics without including Rodney, who is at her enclosure door and actually looks like she shed this morning. So that probably means that her waters are filthy, her enclosure needs to be cleaned, and probably that she's hungry. Now she's at the other end. Rodney, where are you going? You know, you can't just roam free. Here, come out this other door and get on the activity stand. 
got other snakes out. Come here. And I've got cats out, which means you can't just be out left to your own devices unattended while I clean your enclosure and stuff because you might try to eat somebody. In case you guys weren't aware, bull snakes do sometimes eat other snakes and I don't want to ever take that chance. So when other snakes are out, Rodney absolutely doesn't get to just roam around. Either she stays with me or she goes into an exercise tent. The cats are also out right now and I just don't trust her really around any other animals because I think she would eat anything. But say hi Rodney. Rodney is saying hello. And I'm going to temporarily let her go on to this exercise station and set up an exercise tent for her and I'll clean her enclosure. And I feel like we've come full circle because in part of this video, you saw Ronan getting put to bed. And now we are around 7 p.m. on Saturday evening. And you see Ronan waking up and coming out for the night. And he will slowly emerge from his enclosure. And he'll travel around a little bit patrolling and then he'll find a spot to sit for the rest of the night. And then as you saw earlier in the video around 4 a.m. or whenever it is that I go to bed when I'm done with my snake work and observations and feeding and training, then I will put Ronan to bed. And the target there is a signal to him that the door is open and that he's allowed to come out. And it signals which door is open. So sometimes I open the door on the right and sometimes I open this trap door on the roof and I just set that target wherever the opening is so he knows where to exit when he wakes up. He always gets a drink before he comes out. I guess that's because he knows he's gonna be out for a while. Sometimes he's out 12 hours or something. And I noticed that after he wakes up, he comes out of his hide or he comes off of his rock if he's been basking. He yawns and then he slowly starts to make his way out. And he always sticks his head out the door first, I guess, to make sure that it's open. And then he goes back in and he takes a really long drink. And then he takes his time coming out. And then he is off and out and about for the rest of the night. Our final hello for this episode is my Loth Wolf Balinor. What? Did I say Loth Wolf? I meant my Smooth Collie. My Smooth Collie Balinor says hello. And we would like to thank you so much for tuning in for this week's episode of Serpente Sunday. Until next time, everybody, please remember to always be kind and love your animals. Mm -hmm.